This will work out. Yep, that's just what I wanted. They uh, said specifically to use quarter inch. Um, we're going to go down actually um, through the uh, thing. I've got lock washers and washers here. I'm going to put them on. We really wouldn't need them for the uh, flat aluminum plate, but they're going to be on the uh, fiberglass side on the underneath, so I'll go mm -hmm. ahead and put them on. What I want to do right now is put them on and tighten them down and try to seal that controller to that plate with that thermal grease. And yeah, we'll put a washer, some lock washers there. And we've got to mount this. Put them off. And sink this down through the fiberglass. This should be extraordinarily securely mounted. On that shelf that the back has under the hump. Ah, perfect, thanks. You guys don't have to be quiet, I'm not dying in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just watching. There we go. Let me get a... In here. And we've got screwdrivers, everything we need here. We got the stuff, Brain. There we go. Little washers and stuff. Good. That is lined up after all. I was gonna say we're having a little lineup problem. But not that's very little. Pop right through. Yeah, I got a couple emails that asked me if we'd ever heard of a speed wrench. <coughs> the little thumb speed wrench, is that what they're talking about? Apparently we've never heard of it. I've, I've never, if I've used one, I didn't know it by that name. <coughs> I guess we need one. I think we annoy them <laughs> with our fumbling <laughs> mechanical skills. That must be part of our charm. Yeah, I would think it would be reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have said all along, we do not have a great deal of mechanical skill, but these cars are kind of a series of small problems. You just work off a little bit at a time like we're doing, and then at some point you get in, turn the key, and drive away. Well, you have a car. It's pretty flat. It's kind of squeezing a little bit of the grease out. That's what I want it to do. Closer you can get them. And so there we go. This is our controller with a heat sink plate. Got a little screw coming through there, but I think that'll... Uh, uh, sit on that uh, fiberglass pretty well. We'll have some water in and water out. We'll run it through a pump. Our uh, heat exchanger. We'll have our bottle to fill it. We'll have braided hoses and fittings. And that should give us a um, heat removal system. But it doesn't change the profile of our unit much. So I think it'll keep it quite cool um, depending on the speed we run the pump. 
Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I much water running through the it. The actual quantity of heat. The hoses give off some. The pump gives off some. The bottle gives off some. Obviously, our heat exchanger is the major cooler for the fluid. And we do need to keep it um, cool. But the major it's, portions of heat development are going to be at amperage, right. 300 to 500 amps. It's tough to do that long without moving down the air right. and, and moving some air over the top over of this that. thing. Yeah. And so I believe that we can uh, chill that down in the 25C range almost immediately. As I say, it's not going to produce a tremendous amount of heat. We just have to get it off of this thing. And that should preserve the life of this component um, quite dramatically. Um, if we never got into thermal limit in right. the first place, just, and this was all over last kill to entertain Jack. Um, I think the fan on the motor and this will do this. Now, of course, we have to make a lot of money, too. So we'll sell these to you. What's our MESDA price for the end plate? Uh, I guess a million dollars. dollars You can have one of these, too. Uh, actually, we're in the media business, and everything we do, since we're big blabbermouths, uh, you can have for nothing. Um, call uh, Kate Precision Machine. I think he's talking about 135, 150 bucks for one of these things. Probably now because we've already got all the programming. Done. Since we've paid for the prototype, it was a little bit more. But <laughs> I think if you call Lucian, you can get one. Uh, if you happen to be using this controller and just wanted to do it um, uh, the way I do, um, uh, overkill always being appropriate, um, it's a 150 dollar piece, about like one of these pieces, actually. Um, we're in fact looking at this. Uh, Lucian's a pretty good deal. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. I, I now we're, start, now we're starting to add up the rest of the parts. I, one. <laughs> yeah. I think this was 158. Yeah, bucks. this is, this, the same this is not bad. Uh, and this uh, required some, well, this requires some machining too. Obviously, you've got this welded, and these are fins around a tank it's, with uh, inlets and the. Uh, I think uh, I put those fittings. I'm not. Yeah, sure I don't think it. Would, I don't think it came with the AN fittings. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, there is a little magic in selecting all these AN fittings to fit everything. This is a uh, tube fitting, but it's threaded in there. I just have to find out. Well, I think that's a three eighths or something, quarter inch. Probably a quarter NPT. inch bar, yeah. NPT and then I'm gonna with a have bar. to get that up to an AN six, and uh, we're going to use AN six hose. That's pretty fine, but for um, this system. I think it'll be fine. We're using bigger stuff on the uh, um, Mini Cooper. Oh yeah, because the fittings on the the uh, controller and the and the motor were bigger. It's a bigger motor. Um, it's uh, twice the power, um, and uh, and and so we just did that with A and eights and twelves. Twelves, yeah. And um, but uh, for this system. Uh, since Lick was only going to go through the controller. Uh, now, I have not, you know, ruled out. I could take some uh, air conditioning tubing, like quarter-inch soft stuff, and wrap it around part of that motor and put some fittings on it, and it would splice right into this. Oh, um, from the AC-50 motor? I much of that out of <laughs> it's probably not that good. <laughs> yeah. Wait, they may have to well, case it in the bottom of the motor is it's, underneath yeah. pretty good. Now I got a soft copper.